Hi there, I'm Bob Beck with Extreme Outer Limits Television. Berger has asked me to explain some of the challenges with properly seating a Berger VLD bullet. Many shooters today desire to push bullets faster, further, and with less wind deflection. That is why the Berger VLD line has exploded in popularity. VLD stands for Very Low Drag. It is a boat tail bullet with a secant ogive, which creates a long and sharp nose shape, producing less drag as the bullet flies to target. Many who load VLD bullets have probably used conventional dies with standard seating stems. When used, standard seating stems can produce two negative results. The least of these two is when the cedar stem leaves a pronounced ring around the nose of the bullet. This looks bad and may affect performance, but the effects are minimal. A more serious issue is when the tip of the bullet bottoms out in the cedar stem. Nose lengths on the best made bullets are not precisely the same. If your stem touches the tip of the bullet rather than the ogive, the distance between the rifling and where the bullet meets the rifling will vary considerably. You are also likely to have alignment problems. Both of these results are very bad for accuracy. Redding has addressed both of these results from using standard seating stems on a VLD bullet by designing a micrometer adjusted VLD seating stem. These stems are shaped to fit the bullet properly along the nose and not leave a ring. This gives you consistent seating depth and alignment. Redding dies will work in most standard presses. To sum up, the booming popularity of the Berger VLD line has brought about the specific need for dies that are precisely shaped to match the sharp nose of a VLD bullet. Contact Redding for more information about their dies equipped with micrometer adjustment VLD stems. As always, shoot better, shoot burger.